Thanks for tuning in for today's latest stock market news updates. For more videos so you can stay informed, press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. The stock market witnessed a day of considerable turbulence as conflicting news shaped investor sentiment. The release of robust U.S. retail sales data provided a positive jolt to Wall Street. Consumers demonstrated more robust spending habits than initially anticipated, signaling a further testament to the economy's overall robustness. However, the surge in retail sales prompted speculation that interest rates might remain at elevated levels for a more extended period. The lingering fear of extended high interest rates dampened the initial euphoria surrounding the retail sales report. Furthermore, Fitch Ratings' announcement of potential downgrades for multiple banks, including financial giant J.P. Morgan, sent ripples through the financial sector. The prospect of credit downgrades raised concerns about the broader financial stability and added an element of uncertainty to the market's outlook. For individual stock news, we saw that NVIDIA is currently enjoying an upsurge in attention and optimism from Wall Street analysts, bolstered by a series of price target upgrades. This optimistic sentiment comes ahead of NVIDIA's eagerly anticipated earnings report scheduled for the upcoming week. The market's positivity is rooted in several factors. Firstly, there is a strong expectation of heightened demand for NVIDIA's chips in the lucrative data center industry. As remote work and cloud-based services continue to drive technology adoption, NVIDIA is poised to benefit from the increased need for data processing power. Secondly, orders from Chinese companies have further fueled the optimism around NVIDIA. As China continues its rapid technological advancement, NVIDIA's cutting-edge chips find application across a spectrum of industries, from artificial intelligence to high-performance computing. Lastly, the automotive industry's potential future orders present another avenue for NVIDIA's growth. As vehicles become more technologically sophisticated, the demand for advanced computing solutions, including NVIDIA's chips, is expected to surge. NVIDIA's stock currently hovers around $440 per share, and while the lowest price target is estimated to be around $368, the bullish sentiment suggests a potential valuation as high as $774 over the next year. Investors eagerly await NVIDIA's upcoming earnings report for a clearer insight into the company's financial performance and growth trajectory. You should also be aware of Intel, which is a cornerstone of the tech industry, which is showing signs of a potential resurgence in its fortunes. The company's solid standings in both central processing units and graphics processing position it favorably for a turnaround. Notably, Intel's potential extends beyond traditional hardware domains. One key driver of optimism is Intel's significant opportunities in the artificial intelligence sector. The market might be underestimating Intel's potential contributions to AI, a sector poised for exponential growth in the coming years. Positive technical indicators and improving sentiment are bolstering the case for Intel's resurgence. The company aims to demonstrate growth and profitability improvements that could surpass market expectations in subsequent quarters, thereby potentially boosting its stock price in the long term. However, a cautious approach is warranted due to the significant challenges Intel faces. The company operates in highly competitive segments, including CPUs, GPUs, data centers, and AI. Despite its substantial resources, Intel's leadership and management have faced criticisms for missed opportunities and mismanagement, which have allowed competitors to gain ground. In other stock news, we have Upstart, which is a forward-looking financial technology company, has made significant strides by forming a strategic partnership with Farmers Insurance Federal Credit Union. This collaboration is set to provide personal loans to a broader range of consumers through an innovative, all-digital lending experience. Farmers Insurance Federal Credit Union, primarily serving members of the farmers insurance community, aims to leverage Upstart's AI-powered lending marketplace to offer improved financial solutions to a wider audience. The partnership is a step toward empowering individuals to make informed financial decisions and access products and services that align with their needs. Laura Campbell, CEO of Farmers Insurance Federal Credit Union, expressed the institution's commitment to helping people achieve their financial goals through modern and accessible lending practices. Upstart's technology-driven approach aligns with the credit union's vision of providing enhanced financial well-being to its members. 
the partnership underscores the growing role of technology and AI in shaping the future of financial services, enabling institutions to offer tailored solutions that cater to diverse customer needs. For earnings news, we have Kava, a rapidly expanding chain specializing in Mediterranean cuisine, made an impressive debut in its earnings season, surpassing market expectations and solidifying its position as a growth leader. The company's stock, which had already doubled in value since its IPO at $22 per share, continued to surge following its earnings report. Key factors contributing to Kava's exceptional performance include substantial revenue growth driven by robust double-digit growth in comparable restaurant sales. Kava's successful expansion strategy played a pivotal role in its earnings surge. With an increase of 43% in locations over the past year, the company added 102 new locations, including 16 during the most recent quarter. Notably, Kava's comparable restaurant sales soared by an impressive 18.2% indicating the company's strong resonance with consumers. Cava's restaurant-level profit also experienced a remarkable increase, surging by 92% compared to the previous year. The company's net income of $6.5 million for the quarter exceeded market expectations and demonstrated its ability to achieve profitability. While Cava's management has provided cautious guidance due to potential external factors impacting consumer activity, the company's solid performance and expansion plans remain a testament to its growth potential in the competitive restaurant industry. For breaking news, we have Coinbase Global, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the United States, which has secured regulatory approval to offer regulated cryptocurrency futures to retail customers. By Coinbase getting the green light from the National Futures Association, a self-regulatory organization designated by the Commodity Futures Trading Commission represents a significant step forward for Coinbase and the broader crypto market. The approval comes amidst an ongoing legal battle between Coinbase and the Securities and Exchange Commission over the company's alleged unregistered securities exchange operations. Coinbase's ability to navigate regulatory challenges while expanding its product offerings underscores its strategic resilience and commitment to shaping the future of cryptocurrency trading. Greg Tuzer, Vice President of Institutional Products at Coinbase, highlighted the importance of this regulatory milestone, noting that Coinbase is the first crypto-only platform to offer regulated crypto futures products and spot crypto trading to U.S. investors. This achievement is expected to pave the way for increased regulatory oversight and greater investor confidence in the cryptocurrency markets. Coinbase's move into offering regulated crypto futures positions the exchange to tap into the growing demand for derivatives products in the crypto space. As the cryptocurrency landscape continues to evolve, Coinbase's proactive approach to regulatory compliance and product innovation strengthens its position as a key player in the industry. Lastly, Two prominent figures in the investment world, Warren Buffett and Michael Burry, have drawn attention for their cautious stance on the current stock market landscape. Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has significantly increased its holdings of cash and treasury securities, signaling a defensive posture and readiness to seize opportunities amid potential market downturns. Meanwhile, Michael Burry, famed for his prescient prediction of the 2008 housing market crash, has reportedly taken bearish positions on key stock market indexes. His actions suggest a belief in an impending market decline, reinforcing his reputation as a contrarian investor with a keen ability to identify market imbalances. Buffett's history of making strategic investments during times of market turmoil, such as during the Great Recession, makes him an investor that we should be watching considering the times. His substantial cash reserves offer him the flexibility to capitalize on undervalued opportunities that may arise in the event of a market correction. On the other hand, Burry's approach aligns with his track record of identifying market excesses and potential bubbles. His decision to take short positions on indexes indicates a conviction that certain segments of the market might be overvalued and vulnerable to a significant downturn. I personally do not think Buffett is forecasting that a stock market crash is coming soon, but as the market landscape evolves, only time will tell. In my opinion, investors should be watching the market closely to buy on weakness. With that being said, I wish you happy investing.